Well, welcome to Speaking of Horses. I'm your host, Wayne Williams, and we're ready to go right here with some of the great stories from the horse industry. So join us as we get ready to go Speaking of Horses right here on this station. Well, welcome to Speaking of Horses, and hey, today we're going to talk horse fairs and uh, horse expos, and uh, we're going to go back into some of the history of these because they go back many years, and one of the oldest uh, anywhere in the country is the, the Hoosier Horse Fair, which is in uh, Indianapolis, and it's always uh, around the 1st of April, right in that area, first weekend in April. been going on 40 years now. Joining me on the show is Melinda Gary. She is the event planner for the Hoosier Horse Fair, who this year uh, is celebrating that 40th anniversary. Wow, that's a long time. Melinda, welcome. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So, yeah, we're really excited about the 40th year. Um, it's been a lot of volunteers for many years putting on our event. Well, we can tell people it's, uh, it's an event that is put on by the um, – Indiana Horse Council, and it's called the Hoosier Horse Fair. It's held in uh, Indianapolis. And uh, just tell us a little bit about what you're planning for uh, events for this 40th anniversary. Okay. Well, we'd like to show a little bit of the history and and how it uh, came about. Um, In 1979, Valerie Steffen was uh, a college student, and her father was a veterinarian, and and wanted to bring something different to uh, Indianapolis. And the goal was to uh, simply unify the different state breed organizations and help them present their product. But the biggest thing she wanted to do was to invite the urban families to give the inner city kids the opportunity to experience the horse in in its best equines in Indiana. And um, so they started a horse fair, and and she asked the question, well, what what is a horse fair? And he said, make it whatever you want to be. And so that's the philosophy that she went on. And um, she, the first year she had 56 horses representing like 16 breeds along with some blacksmiths. And, and she decided to put some clinics in it. She didn't want it to be a show. She wanted to be a different than that. And there was over 5,000 people that attended that first year. So I was really excited um, how that went along. And, and I'm actually trying to research to find Valerie and bring her back into uh, our 40th anniversary to to share her story. So we're going to be looking at that. And then we've got a great lineup of clinicians that are uh, coming this year. We've got the legend and founder, Pat Pirelli, coming into the National Horsemanship. And then Chris Cox is also coming in. And uh, that's bringing a lot of interest. And a lot of people are excited he's coming in uh, with Yvonne Marteau covering the dressage uh, area. And then we also got Robert Everett, well, he's the trail master. And we have a lot of trail riders in Indiana and the surrounding areas. And so we're all excited to see what Robert's going to talk about. Um, we also have uh, the evening shows. At, we're one of the only expos that doesn't charge an extra cost for our evening shows. Um, Friday evening, there's going to be a presentation with Pat Corelli and Jesse Peters. Uh, they're known for their um, elegant horsemanship and outstanding showmanship, so we're real excited to see what they uh, bring in for us. Um, and then um, Shadow Montag, he's going to kind of give a little tease on Friday night um, to kind of bring it on into Saturday night showcase. He does some extraordinary entertainment uh, with Roman riding and, and trick riding and a variety of things there. Um, on Saturday night is the showcase. And that's also going to bring in many different types of uh, entertainment uh, with the equine and, and different musical equestrian performers that's going to, going to show up for that. So, And then um, for the last 40 years, um, we've had the Parade of Breeds and Parade of Stallions, and we're combining that this year, and we're going to be able to show their strength and their uh, and demonstrate their beauty and, and diversity of the equine. So... We're excited to be bringing that back. Um, One of the big things that we have been looking at um, is, you know, mixing it up a little bit, uh, changing a few things. And one of the big things we're doing in the West Pavilion is we're going to go ahead and make that all vendors in there. We've taken out the uh, lighting arena in there for um, for the vendors. And so they're going to be able to shop over 200 vendors in, in one area. And so we're pretty excited about that as well. 
Um, one of the big things we're doing uh, right now is we're offering a special for our 40th year, and you can go online um, and get a $10 ticket for the day. And $10, uh, Wayne, that includes your evening show. Uh, you know, where can you go all day, shop, get education, see some of these clinicians, and then go in and, and watch an evening show. Um, and then also get a ticket for thirty dollars for the weekend, so you can come and stay all weekend long. The state fair has uh, camping, and so you can camp there. Or there's uh, hotels around in the area, and, and just spend the whole weekend with us. Well, you know, you said something that's interesting too. Where else can you go and get all of the um, entertainment, the love of horses, the shopping, the education, and everything for a ten dollar bill? It's just you can't do it any place else. It. If you were to go to any one of these clinicians and go to one of their sessions, you would spend upwards of fifty, sixty dollars just to audit, and hundreds of dollars to participate, and you get to see all of these people for ten bucks. Yeah, you can't go to the movies for that. So it, it, we're just really excited that can bring the family in, get a chance to go through kids corral. Uh, we're bringing in some different things over in that area. Uh, we've got now that archery going on. Um, so there's the drill teams, there's um, just so many different things that people can come in, take time. We've got a hay cafe area that is solely entertainment. And so they can, if they want to you know, rest their feet a little bit over in there, they can sit down and listen to some music. Rusty Rankin and Ernie Roditi is going to be there. Uh, we've also got some cowboy, cowboy poetry and, and cowboy stories. And we've got some magic. And then we've got that Shadow Monte. He had a life experience. Uh, he was in a really bad accident. And he's going to talk about his inspiring story of how he came back uh, from what they thought would may not live or be a vegetable to where he is today. And so there's going to be a, a lot of different sharing of stories, not just in that aspect, but even just our 40th year. There's so many that's still around that was at the beginning and what it looked like. You know, 40 years ago, it was in two buildings, and, and the way that it's grown, and, you know, the, the economy and, and, and different things, we have ups and downs on it, but we feel like we're really hitting it strong, and got a, a great lineup of uh, clinicians and, and volunteers to come in. Um, another way to come in and enjoy getting to see the clinicians just right right there is you can come in and eat breakfast Saturday morning. It's called the Main Course Breakfast. Um, and it does take a, a separate ticket for that, just for the catered breakfast side of it. And that's thirty dollars and forty if you don't have your ticket. And you can sit down uh, at a round table discussion and you know talk with them and, and eat the breakfast. And then once the program starts, they'll pick up and the clinicians will move around, kind of like in a speed dating type uh, environment. Every ten minutes, we'll get up and go to the next table. So. You get a chance to ask questions that maybe you don't uh, get to, to ask while you're watching the clinic. Um, thanks, so and you get a great breakfast. And we have a lot of door prizes, too. The clinicians bring in many different items that, that get, you know, drawings for those things. That, so you, it's just a great Saturday morning time to get a chance to talk with them and, and go away with a lot of knowledge and, and just the great experience of being around those clinicians. Well, you know, that, that breakfast thing where you can sit with them and they move table to table, that is really a, a, a cool idea. And it really it really lets you get in there and be, um, you know, just one-on-one. -on -one. A lot of different discussions go on when you're sitting around the table over breakfast rather than in a lecture hall type setting. It's right. The, um, we've been doing it for four years now. Actually, it's our fifth year. The clinicians love it. After it's over, they come up and say, this is just such a great idea. wish a lot of other expos would, would bring this into their program. Um, they just really like getting a chance to take that pressure off, sit down, relax, eat, you know, eat a little bit, and, and chat with these people. Well, and, and the other thing that's neat, too, and, and it's, it's the whole concept of a horse fair, whether you're a backyard horse owner, uh, whether you uh, trail ride, which most of the horses in this world go on trails, uh, or whether you do go in the show ring, and it doesn't matter what your breed or discipline, uh, there's something there for everybody. If you love horses, then you can be a, a very integral part of this thing. That's 
right? And we brought something in last year that was just a, a big bang. So we're bringing it in full force this year, and it's the worst pulling contest. It's going to be all day on Saturday. Um, I was amazed the crowd that it brought in last year uh, for this, and, and so we're taking it to another level, and it's going to start out with the ponies in the morning, and then it's going to go to, like, the farm horses. And then it'll go into the uh, heavyweight courses. So it'll be an all-day thing Saturday. We, we look for a lot of people that just want to come in and see those magnificent horses that, uh, you know, those gentle giants that are in that arena just pulling that weight. It's amazing. Right, right. Well, we're, we're getting close to running out of time here. But, Melinda, it's the Hoosier Horse Fair. The date's April? April 6th through the 8th. Okay, in Indianapolis State Fairgrounds. Uh, give us a contact for uh, data. What's the website? The website is HoosierHorseFair.org, and you can email info at HoosierHorseFair.org as well. Well, I'm looking forward to being there as well with my Speaking of Horses show, and and uh, we're going to be releasing this week a, um, a little TV show on the 40th anniversary that we filmed quite a bit of it last year when we were there. So get a hold of them. Melinda, thank you very much for joining us. Well, Wayne, thank you, and, and we always love having you come to our expo, and we look forward to seeing you here in just a few weeks. Okay, April 5, 6, 7, April, did I get that right, or 6, 7, 8? April 6, 7th, and 8th. 6, 7th, and 8th. Who's your horse fair? Yep. Melinda, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Be sure and join us at the Who's Your Horse Fair this April. Hey, we at Speaking of Horses invite you to join us as we bring you many, many programs over the next few months from retired racehorse makeover programs to horse rescue operations to therapeutic riding operations. Anything that benefits the horse, the rider, any discipline, any wonderful project. So we want you to join us right here on Speaking of Horses. we got some really good stuff coming up. And, of course, you can always check out all of the other stuff we do, video as well, at speakingofhorses.com on our website. In the meantime, thanks for joining us here on this radio station. And we're going to bring you a lot more of Speaking of Horses. <laughs> Well, that's our show. I'm your host, Wayne Williams. Speaking of horses, we'll be back next week with a brand new show. Or join us at speakingofhorses.com.